Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're new. Today I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look of doing a dental cleaning on a dog. I also want to tell you why it's important to have your dog's teeth clean. Now just for comparison, those two teeth here, I've already cleaned them. And if you compare them to those on the side here, you'd notice there's a lot of tattoo on this, but on the other side, they're pretty white. So just hold on one second. Let me clean this out and show you makes a big difference with the health of the teeth and remember teeth health is directly proportional to heart health in these small dogs large dogs as well but we tend to see small dogs with a really bad dental tartar buildup and of course you have to take it into the vet to get it clean so have a look one of the first thing people ask me is can they do this themselves at home or you may be able to buy one of those ultrasonic scalers online even some of these dental ranches that I use to take away the big calluses or some of the manual scalers may be accessible, but I don't think your dog would stop and let you do this. Um, this dog is anesthetized. I'm using total injectable anesthesia because I prefer it. Some people use gas anesthesia. It depends on your experience. I've done thousands of dogs with this anesthetic protocol, so the dog is safe. And you can see here, I'm just really breaking down the callus with this ranch in my hand. And then I'm going to use the ultrasonic scaler to get rid of the other stuff, polish it up. I also have um, a dental polish solution that I use. So you might see a little blue color on the guards there. Some of you may say, why well, clean the teeth? But the teeth is directly connected to the bloodstream and the circulatory system. So when your teeth health gets bad, your heart health gets bad. And as the dental tartar build up, it can directly be the cause of heart complications and even debt. So you've seen the before. Check out the after. Beautiful white poorly teeth. Um, the breath would go away, that bad odor would be gone. So now I'm going to move to the other side. But just wanted you to see the before and after from the same side. And then I'll do it again on the other side. Well, yeah. Cleaning on the inside is a bit more technical. Of course, with all this maneuvering, the gum sometimes bleeds. The tongue can also get in the way. <laughs> but this ultrasonic scaler that I'm using, it does not activate on stuff, it only activates on hard surfaces. If it's not on the teeth, it would not work. Yep. So you can see significant dental tartar build up here. I'm gonna start cleaning this side. Maybe we'll get some footage. Also gonna show you the tools that I'm using. Hmm. This can build up. I mean, regardless if you feed a lot of kibble, feed a lot of soft food, this will build up over time with dogs. Um, and how to deal with it. You could brush the teeth of your dog probably use something like a regular salt and or baking soda or something soft there are doggy toothpastes out there um, based on where you are you probably have access to it nice good hard biting bone treats and there's a lot of chewing treats that would literally target these areas to limit the buildup and over a period of time this is a relatively young dog I expect to see this in like an eight year old dog this is a four year old dog but it can get significantly worse over time well, cleaning every few years will sort it out. Let's see how it goes.
Yep, you've seen the before. And it's the after. All that build up, all that colors is gone. I'm gonna just go finish up now with some of the small areas. Hmm. You can still see some colors on the tongue. But the dog is anesthetized. I use injectable anesthesia. Some people could use gas anesthesia. I do total injectable anesthesia. It's more reliable, safe on the animal. And I'll be finishing in a few minutes. Well, we're all finished now. Give me a good clean. It's good to go. Smile. Good boy.